Hello and welcome. My name is Jacob Tucholsky. I'm a junior in aquatic and fishery science, and I will be sharing with you today the life work, life events, and importance of Philip Leader to modern day genetics. So Philip began his life in Washington, D.C. in 1934. Soon after being born, he and his family moved out to Arlington, Virginia, where Philip grew up and attended high school before graduating in 1952. From there, he studied at Harvard, where the real fun begins. At Harvard, Mr. Leader worked as an intern at the National Institute of Health, other known as NIH, until graduating with a bachelor's degree from Harvard. He decided to stay at Harvard for medical school before graduating in 1960. After college, Dr. Leader worked at the National Institute of Health as a postdoc under Dr. Marshall Nuremberg. Here he published a study on codon synthesis with Dr. Nuremberg, his first ever publication. I will go into more detail on this study later. Dr. Leader was later awarded the job of Laboratory Director of Molecular Genetics at the National Institute of Health. Here he continued doing research on unraveling the genetic code while also working with new and upcoming geneticists. Finally, Leader returned to Harvard Medical School in 1980. This time his objective was to found their genetics department. He served as their department chair for the next 25 years, where he made important decisions for the college. Quite an accomplishment, I must add. Through his time at the National Institute of Health, Dr. Nuremberg was Philip Leader's mentor. He worked with him on multiple scientific studies that analyzed amino acid and amino acid filtering instruments. These instruments gathered data on codons and RNA sequences. Timothy Stewart was another quintessential cog in Philip Leader's success. He worked with Leader on patenting the Oncomouse, a model mammalian organism that has been injected with cancer-causing genes. This allowed researchers a tool to study and treat cancer. Some other individuals that Leader was influenced by were Martha Vaughan, a biochemist whose lab Letter worked in as an undergrad, also David Livingston, a close colleague of Leader's. They both worked under Nuremberg during his time at the National Institute of Health. Philip Leader's most groundbreaking experiment was conducted with his colleague and mentor from the National Institute of Health, Dr. Marshall Nuremberg. His experiment was entitled RNA Code Words and Protein Synthesis, as they looked at sRNA interactions. Their objective was to look at sRNA interactions with ribosomes acting on protein synthesis. These interactions are induced by codons prior to the peptide bond construction. They utilize trinucleotides to induce sRNA binding synthesis. First, they lyophilize an ammonium hydroxide-based solvent to remove the terminal phosphates. After, they utilize pork liver enzymes to synthesize nucleotides such as guanine and urine by chopping up larger strands of mRNA into easier to study strips. E. coli was cultured in a 0.5% nutrient broth and 24 degrees Celsius. E. coli is needed for amino acid extraction for the experiment. The next step was to transfer the mRNA strips onto chromatography paper so that their movement could be seen with UV light. Throughout this study, Nuremberg and Leader were able to view band movement through paper electrophoresis by using important spectrophotometers such as the Zeiss and Carey recording spectrophotometers. These allowed the researchers to develop their results. By correlating the mRNA to its amino acid constituent, Nuremberg and Leader could figure out which tRNA sequence coded for which amino acid. This groundbreaking discovery allowed them to find the minimum amount of sequences to code for an amino acid, which is three. Nuremberg and Leder found that the rate of binding is determined by temperature. At zero degrees Celsius, there was much less binding of amino acid chains to sRNA as opposed to 24 degrees Celsius, where there was an observed higher rate of binding. This is due to slow molecular processes. This experiment made it possible to match tRNA to the respected mRNA counterparts. This led to being able to code for specific amino acids at will. This experiment also shed more light on the codon nature of genetic code. With this information, Nuremberg later went on to code all amino acids. After the Leader and Nuremberg experiment, geneticists went on to synthesize more amino acids. This study also led to the creation of more efficient GMOs and deciphering genetic code for other organisms. Leader also accomplished work in immunology working with antibodies. He was able to decipher the genetic sequence of alpha globin, a protein in red blood cells that helps retain oxygen while transporting oxygenated blood from the lungs to the rest of the body.
This work helped researchers to understand the specifics regarding the encoding of antibodies. This information showed that biochemical processes ensure antibodies are protecting the body against the correct antigens in viral and bacterial diseases. In summary, Leder furthered molecular biology by studying amino acids through codon construction, immunology by analyzing antibody genetic code, and cancer genetics by delving into how to more efficiently test and study cancer with the patented Oncomouse. Here are the sources I used, and I appreciate all of your time and attention. Have a great rest of your day.